Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. So today's video is all about brows. A brows was something that literally shook the makeup industry in the recent times, you know, like every damn company or makeup brand started coming up with brow products. Every makeup artist, you know, most of the makeup artists, especially celebrity makeup artists, they started focusing on the brows. Brow and makeup for brows went up to a whole new level. On other days of, you know, 90s brows, there is those thin, skimpy brows and now everyone is about thick, bushy eyebrows. A good brush eyebrow can definitely make a whole lot of difference to your face. Vice versa, a very thin or skim skimpy or badly drawn eyebrow can you know, spoil your whole face. Now on the other side, what I actually feel is, you know, this the whole eyebrow thing was a bit overhyped. I mean, everyone was behind a thick, bushy brows like that of Cara Delevingne. In Bollywood, that you can say who actually, you know, did major changes to her brows was Deepika Padukone. Like if you see from her initial movies and now, her major difference is definitely, other than her acting skills, what has really changed is definitely her brows. Now, of course, thick, bushy brows, they do look good, but it's not necessary that it should look good on everyone, you know? Thicky, bushy brows, they look good on Cara Delevingne, but it's not necessary that it should look good on me and you, you know? Because all of us, all of us, we have different facial features. My opinion is that, you know, your brows, your natural brows just should be enhanced and not changed drastically. You know, until, until unless you have no brows at all and you, are, you just have like really few sparse hair, then okay, it's a completely different story. But if you have naturally some brows, then just fill it in and you know, do not uh, just ape these uh, Instagram brows or you know, any, any celebrity just like that, you know. You should always make sure that it kind of suits your face. So that's the kind of principle that I follow, not just for brows, but for any makeup, you know, I feel always your makeup should just enhance your features and not completely change, you know, you should, you should be yourself, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So to fill in my eyebrows, I use this product by Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's called Dip Brow Pomade, this is how the product looks like, again it was a very much hype product and it's actually worth all the hype too, this is how the color looks like. The color is ash brown and it complements my natural hair color very well. You can use any any brow product as you wish. I mean, you know, you can use different brow pencils, brow wheels. There are so many things in the product, like I said, or you can use brow powder. The dip brow made is something like a gel like, it has a gel like consistency. It is really good because it fills into my eyebrows, sets the eyebrows, you know, all using just one product. So I kind of prefer this product over powders and everything. But it's your personal wish, you know, what works best for you, you can use that. If you have black hair like mine, do not use black eyebrow products because that's going to make your eyebrows look very much unnatural. Go for shades of brown, I would say something like a dark brown, medium to dark brown, that's going to look the best for black hair. And if you have the lighter skin tone, then use a, maybe lighter shades of brown, something like that. A few other items I'd be using to fill my brows would be a uh, angle brush like so. Fully brush just to comb my eyebrows and you need a concealer or a foundation which is just one shade lighter than your skin tone this is just to clean up the area around the eyebrows and I'm using this NYX stay matte but not flat foundation you know this is just like I bought it I bought a wrong shade this is like one shade lighter to my skin tone and now I use it for this purpose so I think now without any further ado we can just go into the tutorial First step is to brush your brow and for that I'm using this fully part of this brush. I'm just doing my right eyebrow first so that you guys can spot the difference easily. Using the angle part of the brush, I'm taking a little bit of the product, the dip brow and making an outline for my eyebrows. First starting with the bottom. Like that, I'm just doing the outline, following my natural brow line. I'm not trying to create any sort of an extra thickness or anything. So once I've done below, I'm just going up. The same way, following my natural brow line. Guys, once you create the outline, you know, then the Thing becomes really simple the next step is just filling it in you don't need to do the outline like right in the front of the brow because then it starts looking really unnatural 
scale of my brow. Okay. Then I'm just going to fill it in. Guys, the key here, as you know, I said before, is never to use a lot of product. Just use the most minimal product. And if you feel the thickness is not enough, just build it, you know. Start with really less product. First, fill in the middle and the ends of the eyebrows. Then only go to the, for, uh, you know, the front part because the front part should look as natural as possible. So I have done my brows. The next step is I'm just going to clean it up. Clean it up in the sense using a foundation sealer which is like maybe one shade lighter than your skin tone i'm just going to again outline the whole brow area this this way it cleans up the brow you know the area around the brow maybe any excess product or something it covers it up and it just accentuates the brows so taking very little more product and using an angle brush like that i'm just going to create the outline Next, using your fingers, just blend it in. Once I've done that, I'm just taking the spoolie part of the brush again and uh, giving it a quick brush. That's it guys, so just see the difference for yourself. So that was it guys, my eyebrow tutorial, you know, what all I had to say about my brows. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, then don't forget to like, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel. Do put in your suggestions, you know, what do you feel about this video. If you have any video suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And till I see you guys next week, take care. Bye.